It is so simple. It's the most effective way to stay alive inside a vehicle. The humble seatbelt. It stops you from bouncing around like a crash test dummy. It only takes three seconds. Half of the people who died in crashes in 2015 in the RNC's jurisdiction died because they weren't wearing seatbelts. That stat is going over like a lead balloon with the officer in charge of traffic at the RNC in St. John's. I know 2015 that we had uh, 13 fatalities in our jurisdiction and uh, we know that six of those fatalities could have been avoided had the persons been wearing seatbelts. To me, we have one of the safest communities in the world in this province. Yes, I don't say the same about our, our roads. And I feel a lot of responsibility for it, to be honest with you, because I'm in charge of traffic section. Normally, with road deaths, alcohol, distraction, and speed are contributing factors. Boland says this seatbelt problem is not only new, but worrisome. We didn't really see this coming on a radar because a lot of the stuff we were looking at were speed, we were looking at distracted driving, cell phone use, those types of things. And then all of a sudden you're, you know, you're completing investigations and you're noticing that like a lot of this hurt and, and carnage could have been prevented had uh, had persons had seatbelts on. Well, it's been a tragic weekend in the province with two fatal car accidents. A 20-year-old woman died yesterday. She veered off the road and was thrown from the vehicle. The lady was not wearing a seatbelt. The road was wet and she wasn't going at extreme speed. She was probably traveling a little bit under the speed limit but too, too fast for the weather conditions that day. She had no seatbelt on and we believe that she was perhaps texting while she was driving. This young girl, the car went off the road and uh, it, it stuck in, it dug in in the front of the car, and which caused her to catapult out through the back window of the car. And uh, you can only imagine the, the sight of seeing something like that. She was 20 years old, came to Newfoundland, all kinds of dreams, you know, going forward. and. You know, and even though there was a bunch of errors that happened that day that, that created that collision, uh, you know, if the seatbelt had to be on, we're more than confident that that young girl would still be here. That's the message that we're trying to bring out. And I, I can tell you that particular incident there it had a traumatic effect on one of our members. And that was just one too many accidents that he had gone to. He voluntarily left the unit. It seems easy, doesn't it? Buckle your seatbelt. Think you stand a chance unbuckled? Well, think again. This is what happens when you're not strapped in. These dash cam videos are all over the internet, hundreds of them, many too disturbing to watch. We picked out a few for Boland to examine, like this one, a minor crash at low speed. Wow. So I guess even in the back seat, you're not as protected, are you? Absolutely not. You could just she, she just flew, and the only reason she stopped was because she hit the wall, side of the car. It's a clear one there where you could see how somebody just gets ejected from a vehicle. Another ride. Doesn't seem like a reckless speed. The driver is strapped in, but not his passengers, not even the toddler. Watch what happens. You wonder why we get upset when we see people drive with small children and they're not strapped in or they haven't been in their arms. There's no way you're going to hold a kid in your arms when you're involved in a collision, even at low impact. This driver did the right thing. Seatbelt is on, the car flips, and she's okay. But a second look and you'll see something else. All the junk flying around inside the car. The other thing that stood out to me was the objects that were in the car just flying. In a lot of cases, we get people killed by objects that are sitting in their car. So six deaths because of unbuckled seat belts. There's all kinds of theories as to why this is happening. Young drivers not getting the message, more registered vehicles ever, more inexperienced drivers on the roads. And this veteran admits cops don't ticket for seat belts like they used to. When I was a young officer back in the mid-80s, uh, 
when you went on the road, you went out looking for seatbelt tickets, and it wasn't really acceptable that you would come in and not have issued seatbelt tickets. Okay, you're going to have a van coming towards you as a driver not wearing a seatbelt. He's had enough and he's doing something about it because these unnecessary deaths are happening on his watch. He wants zero tolerance for non-compliance. Back then, you, you looked at it and said, did I sign up for policing to give out seatbelt tickets? I look at it completely different today. Like if there's uh, one thing that you can uh, save a life, you know, prevent people from being a victim of this type of carnage, this type of, you know, heartache and, and heartbreak, and then it's going out and uh, making sure that people put on seatbelts. So the next time you're in a car, think about it. It only takes three seconds. Think about the dangers of not doing it. Think about the people who didn't buckle up and think about the people they left behind. Cease here, CBC News, St. John's.